1919, my grandfather, uh, a German immigrant, moved to this area and in the mid-20s he started raising seed potatoes and started the Washington State Seed Potato Program. We raised certified seed potatoes and we raised three different generations and the third generation we sell to commercial potato growers. The soil and water is, is everything to us. We're, we're blessed with some of the most prime soils in the country in Whatcom County for potato production and also a great climate. But uh, we have to supplement with irrigation and that's just critical to us. Without irrigation, uh, we wouldn't be able to farm. Initially, potatoes were mostly watered with hand lines, which required a lot of labor. We went to big guns, hose reels, Unfortunately, they're not very efficient. We've been converting a lot of fields over to drip irrigation, where they're about 95% efficient. So we're looking at a drip irrigation field. With drip irrigation, we can deficit irrigate, which replenishes the moisture content in the soil as the plant uses it. So we're able to maintain a moisture balance throughout the day, 24 hour period, which is an ideal irrigation technique for a potato crop which is extremely moisture sensitive. Water's critical to our operation and there's a lot of competing uses for water. I, I feel we need to manage it as a finite, precious resource. And drip irrigation really makes the most efficient use of the water or that resource. Rather than wasting water, it leaves it for other use such as salmon habitat. Farming in general is the most compatible land use to creating a healthy habitat for salmon recovery. We need to work closely together with the tribes, the fishery industry, and do our part. And, and drip irrigation is, is just one of those things that we can do.